fair to say I was acting like an entrepreneur, or am I actually an entrepreneur? You're doing it now. No, I'm acting right now. Okay. See? He didn't even know that. You're that good. Scary. See what he did? <laughs> I don't think there's a one-size-fits-all uh, solution. Yeah. I think everybody's got to try and figure it out for themselves, and that, that means getting bumped around a little bit. You said something else before, too, regarding passion. You know, and when people ask me what I learned from Dirty Jobs, uh, I always say the, the long answer is a 400-page book. I can't get around to finishing, but, but the short answers are many. And one of them is uh, a kind of debunking of platitudes and cliches, typically those successories that you see hanging in office buildings like this that say things like, you know, follow your passion. Mm -hmm. and there's a picture of a rainbow and some <laughs> and butterflies or, or some stuff. Yep. Um, I joked about that back in 2004 with a pig farmer on, uh, on Dirty Jobs. And, and he said, listen, the thing about passion is um, you got to have it, but only a moron would follow it. Bring your passion with you in all things, but never ever follow it. And so on Dirty Jobs, we say don't follow your passion, but always but always bring it with you. And if you look back at the 300 dirty jobbers we featured, many of whom, by the way, uh, are multimillionaires. We never pointed that out because that really wasn't, you know, the show wasn't a polemic. Yeah. It was just about people who were willing to get dirty. But at least half of the people we featured owned their own business. They were entrepreneurs. They mm -hmm. were inventors. They were very, very much outside of the box. They were just covered in crap or something mm -hmm. worse, yeah. you know. And so it's, it's interesting that people don't equate success uh, visually with that particular image. And that's one of the things the show uh, really tried to challenge, you know, in a fun way. But the business of not following your passion, the business of taking the reverse commute, that's very much a, a dirty jobs lesson. So when I think of the plumbers I've worked with on the show, all of whom were very successful, they all say the same thing. It wasn't their life's dream to be a plumber. You know, they didn't wake up in the mornings as a kid going, man, I just can't wait to get back into the sewer. Yeah. What they did, they got to the point in their life where it was time to make money and they looked around at where everybody else was going and they just went the other way. And so a lot of these guys on the show wound up doing something that was in no way a reflection of their, uh, their wish fulfillment. But first they identified the opportunity, then they got good at it. Yeah. And then they figured out a way to love it.